theory of substitutions. This one is by Neto, and this is an old book that I don't know if it's easy to get. It looks very elegant, as you can see. This is an X library or EX library book. Um, you can tell because of this. Yeah, wow, wow. Oh, I just gotta give it a whiff here, just a quick whiff, just, ah. So this book contains topics that you've probably never seen. It's got math that you've probably never heard of. So let's, let's take a look. So there's a plate here. University of Southern California Engineering Library. That's what this is from. Wow. This book should be returned to the department from which it was withdrawn on or before the last date stamped below. A fine of 10 cents per day is assessed on books not returned when due. So look at the dates here. So someone used this January 11, 1960. Wow, wow. That is just amazing to me, right? So long ago, right? Someone, uh, you know, you wonder who these people were and are they alive today? It's just, uh, just uh, yeah, it's just a, a really, when, when you look at old things like this, it just makes you think about time. I mean, that was just so long ago. Does that say 59? Yeah, look at that. Very popular in the 60s here. Then 72, and then 78, and then look, even in the 80s. So this book has passed hands. Uh, it has helped many people uh, at the University of Southern California. Wow, wow, look at the pages. Oh, The Theory of Substitutions and Its Applications to Algebra by Dr. Ugen Neto, Professor of Mathematics in the University of Gießen. I hope I said that right. Revised by the author and translated with his permission by F.N. Cole, Ph.D., Assistant Professor of Mathematics in the University of Michigan. And then I believe this is the publisher. I've never heard of this. George War, publisher and bookseller, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor is uh, where the University of Michigan is. It's a very good school uh, it's for mathematics, especially. And then here again, University of Southern California. Yeah, wow, what's this say? It says something here, and it's signed, or someone wrote something here. I, I don't know what that says. And then it says June 1958. Wow, that's, that's really old. Where, where was the, let's go back to the copyright. I didn't see the, uh, so I didn't see, I'm trying to find the copyright, <clears throat> like a date. So we have a date, but that says 1958. Oh, here we go, 18, 1892, 1892, Ann Arbor. So this, this book, uh, I guess it originally was published in 1892. That, that's a long time ago. Here's the preface. The presentation of the theory of substitutions here given differs in several essential features from that which has uh, heretofore been customary. It will accordingly be proper in this place to state in brief the guiding principles adopted in the present work. And I guess it just talks about um, you know, what makes this book different. Let's skip that. Let's go to the actual content. Oh, here it talks. Let's, let's look at this. This might be interesting. To the proceeding, I have now to add that the present tra uh, translation differs from the German edition in many important particulars, right? Because this book was orig originally written in German. Many new investigations have been added. Okay, cool. And here's a, a translator's note. The translator has confined himself almost exclusively to the function of rendering the German into respectable English. My thanks are especially due to the Register Publishing Company for their generous assumption of the expense of publication and to Mr. C.N. Jones of Milwaukee for valuable assistance while the book was passing through the press. Ann Arbor, February 27th, 1892, F.N. Cole. Wow, wow, so long ago, right? And here are the table of contents, or is, uh, theory of substitutions and, and of integral functions. So that's part one. So you got chapter one, some of the contents here. Chapter two, chapter three. So lots of topics that uh, you've probably never seen. There's some abstract algebra here. Uh, I mean, quite a bit of content. I don't know what happened here. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, that's really weird. It's like a little thing. Maybe someone wrote something there. They tried to cover it up. I'll just leave that alone. The pages are quite fragile. Um, OK. 
Okay. And then some more topics over here. And then it goes to part two. Application of the theory of substitutions to the algebraic equations. And then there's some more, more topics here. The cycloatomic equations, the abelian equations, equations with rational, with uh, equations with rational relations between three roots. It's got a ton of content. Um, this is certainly not a book for beginners. It's got an errata. Basically, these are corrections. Theory of substitutions and of the integral functions. So let's just see how, let me show you how hardcore this is. <clears throat> in the present investigations, we have to deal with n elements, x sub 1 through x sub n, which are to be regarded throughout as entirely independent quantities, unless the contrary is expressly stated. It is easy to construct integral functions of these elements, which are unchanged in form, when the x sub alphas are permuted or interchanged in any way. For example, the following functions are of this kind. You have these functions here. Such functions are called symmetric functions. We confine ourselves, unless otherwise noted, to the case of integral functions. And it goes on and on and on. So you can see that this is not something um, that is for uh, the faint of heart. This is, this is going to be a very hardcore, very advanced book. And I always wonder, like, who are the students who use this? <laughs> and, like, how did they, I mean, this is certainly uh, a little bit more advanced than, um, you know, like a college algebra book. This is... Uh, some hardcore mathematics. To, to read and understand a book like this, you have to have um, some serious mathematical maturity. What that basically means is you, you have to know a lot of math, right? You want to know how to write proofs, and hopefully you've had some upper-level math courses where you've written proofs, like maybe some analysis or some abstract algebra that would be very beneficial uh, before jumping into a book like this. This book, by the way, just got to give it a whiff. Oh, it smells amazing. This book might be free. I don't know. I don't know, but I think it is. Um, you, you can Google it, right? Google the book. It might be free because it's so old. So that often happens with uh, old books like this. Uh, they become part of, like, the public domain. Um, but I, I don't know if that's the case with this one. It probably is. Yeah, University of Southern California. Never been there. Never been there. It would be cool to do, like, a tour of all the uh, university libraries. University libraries are really interesting. Some schools have math libraries. This one, again, came from, came from an engineering, engineering library. 1892, wow, wow. Kind of cool. Anyways, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use links from my website as I've lowered the prices and it helps me um, I don't have a course on this, but I do have a course on abstract algebra and uh, advanced calculus, calculus one, two, three, trig, uh, et cetera. So yeah, good stuff. Just wanted to show you this rare book. I don't know if it's super rare, but to me, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Theory of Substitutions by Neto. Take care.